Hello folks, I'm here at the Ponderosa Cafe, famous bikers cafe, just on the Horseshoe Pass, which is above Llangollen in North Wales. And I'm just stopping here for a coffee, then I'm going to head off back down the pass, find somewhere to park in town, and then go for a walk in the hills and a wild camp. So this is the view looking roughly north from Castle Dinas Bran, which I've just climbed. Had a little rest and a bite to eat. And you can actually see where I'm going quite well from here. That sort of cliff face is the Egluiseg Escarpment. I shall be going along the side of that on Offers Dyke Path and heading towards that communication tower on the highest bit of moorland there in the far distance. That's hopefully where I'm going to find somewhere to camp. Although I haven't wrecked the spot, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Well, what with how dry and hot it is, and these lovely white rocks and cliffs, and the little trees on the hillside, it's almost what I imagine rural Provence to be like, rather than North Wales.
Oh yes, water. So my cathodin filter sprung a leak, a tiny little pinhole, and I've repaired it here, I don't think you can see, but there's a square there of tenacious tape, and I used a bit of seam grip as well. And it seems to have worked. I'm squeezing there, nothing's coming out. So all is good. Not sure whether the GoPro's picking that up, but those hills in the distance there, I would guess that must be Caderberwin, which is the location of my first ever solo wild camp all those years ago. No, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Well, I've been walking along this road for a while, getting a little bit boring, but I'm now at the start of this nice paved bit of Offers Dyke here. And I think that means that I'm nearly at the end, I've just got to get up there. Oh, that's going down well. North Star Northern Monk, the Black Forest Stout, Fruity Stout. It's basically Guinness and Black with eight levels and on steroids, because it's quite strong. Lovely though. Right, well, I'm ahead of the game for once, actually. It's half an hour before sunset and I'm all completely set up. Got all my warm gear on, already on the beer. So I shall enjoy this. I may go and sit over on that grassy knoll and watch the sun set in over the north of Wales. Well, I'm in another Hilleberg tonight, just to annoy Paul Mesner, who hates them now, for some reason. This is my Enan, which you can see from my hunched demeanor, isn't quite as capacious as 
the Sulu, but still very comfortable considering the weight savings. Now let me just update you on the Thermarest situation. If you remember my Thermarest x light was deflating during the night. They have made good on their lifetime warranty and replaced it, so fair play Thermarest and thank you. It's been fine the couple of times I've used it already. That said, I'm a little bit paranoid. I used to use the Trekology pillow with it, which had that kind of elastic band. It used to pinch the sides a little bit. I'm worried that might have compromised the seams or something. So I bought this like lightweight t-shirt and my good lady wife has very cleverly cut it down to half the size, so it's half the weight. So it now resembles some kind of woman's bra. And it's much more gentle on the sides and yeah, it does the job brilliantly. Okay, well I'd better get to bed because it's bang on 11 o'clock. It's one of the downsides of the late sunsets is that by the time you've watched the sunset and had your tea, before you know it, it's late. And of course the sun will be rising very early as well. So I'm going to get off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. It's a bit grey and overcast this morning. Just enjoying my waffle and coffee. Shan't be hanging about. I'll get packed up quite quickly, I think. So just before I pack away, I'll show you the mods I've made to the NM. I've added guy lines to these side tabs at either end haven't used them on this side because it isn't facing the wind so they're neatly stashed away with a bit of velcro on the windward side though I did use them as you can see there and there and that really helped to keep that side from caving in in the wind I've also added bungee cord quite thick shot cord on the ends of all of the guy lines there just to absorb some of the gusts and reduce the flapping. I've put line locks on all the peg out points, the four peg out points of the corners. I couldn't get a peg in there last night because there's a rock underneath so that came in handy. And then lastly I've added an extra guy line to the pole at each side and that enables me to do this sort of 90 degree thing which should reduce the lateral movement of the pole in strong winds. So all of these should help to make the Enan about as bomber as you can get now I think. It's obviously not designed for very very strong winds but if I went out in good weather and it turned nasty, these would all help me to have a more comfortable and safe night.
There's the lovely sound of a cuckoo. I've had to put my other cameras away because it's raining. So this is on my phone, I'm afraid. But even so, I think you'll agree it's a stunning part of the world. Right, well I'm back at the car park in Tlangothlin by the river. Got myself some hot lunch, an oggy, the Welsh pasty type thing. And I'm gonna enjoy that and get myself scooting home. So thanks for joining me. It's been another great one in Wales. A little bit of bad weather today, but otherwise it's been amazing. See you next time. Bye.